Dream Theater's most recent tour was really, really exciting. I mean, on so many levels, it was such a great next step for us. You know, I've been in this band for, you know, almost 16 years now and enjoyed really every minute of it. But to see the last couple of years happen where I feel like we're just reaching this next level of our career is pretty amazing. Because, you know, the music business is it's such a strange place nowadays. And to have, you know, a rock group like ours be able to kind of climb and get more fans, more people coming to the concerts and have our albums even more accepted is, you know, like pinch me. This is amazing. I mean, I know we work really hard, but, you know, it's such a, such a blessing to have that happen. I think back at that when I first heard Dream Theater, I remember a friend of mine came over and told me, oh, you got to hear this band, you know, they're really amazing. And I said, ah, who are they? I was, I didn't give it much attention. But then he came over and brought images and words and he put on Take the Time. And I heard it and I went, wow, that's actually pretty cool. Because I wasn't used to hearing people play with those kind of chops, that tight, that with the hard metal feel, but also some of the progressive rock energy that I loved. So it caught my attention. And to this day, that album, I still think is, you know, incredibly special. And I've kind of internalized it as well, because I've played the music from that so many times, every song on the album, multiple times. I even sometimes remind the guys, you know, this is, this is a great album. This really, you know, opened people up to what Dream Theater is and meant a lot to me as well. So uh, that's, that's the one out of the whole set before I joined the group that I care the most about. I have two new solo albums. They're both very, very different. Uh, and it was all part of a pledge music campaign. I decided on this you know, new project of mine that instead of going the traditional route and going with the record company, that I would look to something like a crowdfunding. Uh, and I embarked on this kind of amazing project. Um, what I needed the funding for mostly was uh, the orchestral part of it. Uh, one of the albums that I did is called Explorations, and I did it with an orchestra in Poland called Sinfonieta Consonis, and they were so dedicated and so into it. I met them because they were kind of an offshoot of the Symphonic Theater of Dreams that uh, some people know they did a bunch of dream theater music. So I. I was able to work with them very freely, very creatively, thanks to the Pledge Music funding. Um, and it led to an album that I'm very proud of, Explorations. Um, and the other part of that is uh, that I also decided to do an album that was all done at my Steinway Grand Piano, that I've been wanting to do a really personal Jordan Ruta sits down at the piano album for a while. And this is my chance to do it. And not only that, I wanted to do it as an audio release, but I also wanted to do it in, in, in an interactive way because you know, Jordan Rudis, the app guy, doing all these creative next generation things. I wanted to put something out that people could interact with and have fun with. So with all that is now, which is the solo piano thing, I also released it as an app called Jordan Rudis Explorers. So it's been a very busy last uh, period of time, but I managed to get out two albums that I'm really, really proud of and that I really had, you know, kind of on the top of my list that I wanted to do. And, uh, and now I can catch my breath and then I'll go on the road with Dream Theater and finish up our world tour. The next thing up for me is I have the month of June off before we go back on the road to do a tour of Europe, starting with Sonosphere, which is going to be very exciting because we've never played Sonosphere before. Um, but during the month of June, I'm going to start writing some music. I have a concept uh, of bringing some of the world's greatest keyboard players together. Um, the fellow that I'm working with here from Italy, Marco Parisi, uh, is an unbelievable uh, keyboard player, seaboard player, as well as the, uh, the maestro Aaron Bashpu, who is the conductor of uh, Dream Theater's latest Berkeley, uh, you know, coordination that we did at the Opera House there. Um, but putting those guys together and starting to write some music for that combination and a drummer who's unknown at this point. So I'm going to try to take some time while I have off from Dream Theater, write some tunes, get that energized, and then I'm going to continue touring my butt off because we have a lot more to go. I'm thinking that the kind of material that the seaboard is made of will make an incredible suit 